So today I'm heading at Apex Performance. Mark, you're in. Mark, I'm gonna meet Mark. He's a new family man. Wait. Wait. Okay. Oh, I made me so biscuit, sir. So Mark, what are we doing today? Today we're doing legs, so we're speaking English. Okay, today we're doing legs, so we're gonna integrate you into functional bodybuilding slash training. Rehab activation with actual heavy and power movements. Alright? Fucking nose and popping pillies, man. I feel just like a rock star. All my brothers got that gas, and they always be smoking like a rock star. Oh, yeah. Fucking with me, call up on a Uzi and show up, man, and them shots. Surround us, man. I'm feeling like a pop star. Hey, if I want to have the chance to train as much as you want, even since you have your kids, it's been three months now that yes, yeah. Before that, what the did first you do? Two years, you do what you can, yeah. So, what do you, what do you say to the people that say that have excuses that they can't train? I understand what they're saying, and they don't own gyms. I'm in a gym 10 12 hours a day, right? And sometimes I don't have time to train, yeah. Because everything becomes first. Right. They come first, the business comes first. Mopping the floor, someone spills the BCAs on the ground, comes first. You have to put it in your schedule like a client. Right. And yes, if someone walks in now and wants information, I'm gonna stop training and go answer their, their questions. But and you have to lower your expectations. When they were they were born in 2015, 2015 I placed sixth masters in Canada. So in my head, the year after, I was gonna, 2016, I was gonna go for top five. I hit Christmas, I was burnt out. They were born in August. Right. So that went out the window. And now if I get back in the cross in terms of competition, it won't be until next year. Right. Now they're two and a half years old, it's more of a routine, more of a schedule. But even then, like, I'm training maybe an hour, an hour and a half a day. My elite athletes are training three hours a day. So it's not the same thing. Talking shit, but you don't need control the eccentric. Okay, that's it. Explode up, control the eccentric. All the way up. I'm all the way up. This is one thing body wills have over us. It's the bottom. Woo! Apex has existed for. We're in our sixth year. It'll be our sixth anniversary on December 11th, if I'm not mistaken. So we're one of the. The second wave of CrossFit, or sorry, functional training gyms that have been around Montreal. I'm probably one of the oldest owners. I've been coaching. Can you remember? 23 years. Wow. How old are you? 44. When I see new exercises come out, they're not that new. It just means I'm old.
Huh? What has been the biggest change since uh, you got your two kids? The term time management has taken on a new level. Do you feel you still had it? You were still under control, like you could. At first, it was a big adjustment. Yeah. Now, as they get older, I'm getting more used to it. But as the company grows, that's the hard part is keeping up with all your possibilities as an owner. And I don't care what a lot of people say on social media, maintaining your athlete side takes second place to your gym owner, manager roles, or as a parent. My hat's off to the guy that competing in the regionals who has three kids and owns a business. I had to put my ego aside and train for fun instead of training for competition or X strength goals or fitness goals. It's more staying healthy and trying to keep up with the 25 year olds that I have training here. <laughs> more hip extension. Go all out. That's better. Now the fun part. How does your pelvic floor feel right now? You learn all this stuff. 24 years of <laughs> men's fitness training. <laughs> That's my favorite cheat meal. Do you drink coffee? I haven't drunk much coffee in two months. Every day? Five, six espressos a day. Five to six espressos a day? Jeez. On cold turkey. And now none. Zero. 